Joe Vandiver Sr. Kachini Nile Topajna Aje Yashin Ashihe the Beche Besh is sat inside Zilt Ae Kiaani Ada Benale. Not the next is a ya going places. Tatea going places. Choka Choka. Joe Vandiver, Sr. Born Sawyer, New Mexico, 1923, February 5th. I'm 89. Come from Wilty. Wilty, they are she must have a son, she won't go to you. But the candy she not na. Are they not now? For the soil. I should see the shit. On the other side, my cafe day, teeny, talk with it, press or teeny, this is not a penetrate. Also rich. We got the others on the other side of the mountain. Are they sitting in Chinegi? Are they sitting in Azen? Where is the whole one? A traditional Navajo upbringing led Joe to lead a life of resilience. Okay, in the yard of Yarawa. So, Abma. So she, I don't know about the killer. So what are they? I shouldn't know if you are talking to us. Ah, so, she did that in a sada. That we done that. Yes, that's cool. She said, yes, I don't get it. I need that in the Yes, it must. What I pay such not the only old castle. What I in 1943, Joe made a decision that would change his life forever. I got drafted right in from here. From the post office, I got drafted. And I got, then I got to go to Gallup. And we get on the train. We go to Santa Fe. That's why we take Oak. Yeah. You want to go to war? Something didn't go. But us. So I, I passed through it. I passed all the data. You better go. That's way back, 1943. Boot camp, training, that's how we exercise in the morning to wake up early, or we exercise, and then go to training. The way they train is it's pretty rough. Climb, ropes, get strong. That's when I was 185. I used to clip tall men, but not now. Shrink. To help win the war, the Marines enlist the use of a powerful weapon, the Navajo language. Okay. Okay. Uh, 
Kæp han om til næ, ved der hele er, og det er på vand. Den lagde overtid, kunne du ikke danne det her. Det vidste en tid, at det har det blevet kig. Har de sat det, de var jo nabo, det var jo bedre hele det. Har de ikke gjort det. Har du det på til det? Betalte hækkortet. Det vidste en hækkortet. Og der er der bedt nu, bedt nu en dag, hvis vi skulle tage med nummer til hånden. Wire, spool, telefon, to attach to the spool, put the line on the ground, to the front line. That's what we call to another never co talk it back and forth. We talk to one another, the officer by the front line. We had the generator to grind down on the foxhole. Then we sent the message. That's how we were sent back. To know to around yeah. Det er det, hvor vi er. Det er godt, at det er. Nobody understand. Jeg har aldrig brugt det kogte. Det. Det er sådan, at nobody har brugt det kogte. Se. Det er der sejt, der er sådan, at det er. Det er sådan, at det er. That's how many ships I've been on. Sixteen ships. Two battleships. I've been China, Japan, Yokosuka, Japan, Tsingtao, China. Ah, the bed is going in easier. Third Raider Battalion, see this blue? That's a Raider, Bougainville, or Core C, by Australia. Jungle, it's, it's like this. Big vine, trees, pretty green, but this is around the equator. Pretty green. Rain. Rain, rain, rain every day. You go in the mud. That's the Bougainville. That's my back in 1943. We hit the beach. One of the coat talkers got killed right there. You know, nowadays they have a camouflage suit over there before? No. It's just a plain. A khaki, green, when we wear that one. Wear big shoes. We don't even take showers, nothing. Way up there. When it rains, yeah, we just get wet. My foxhole was always deep. I cut the big logs. I used to carry a big one and deep holes. And then if you go a little deeper, ocean, you know, sea level, water. If you war, you got to get angry. <laughs> Not over here, no. Be careful. Don't say it to your own family, no. Wear it in. Over there, the young one, we all the same. We all get mean. All shoot each other. Bomb, airplane. There's war. War. War means different. 
That's why I'm still here. The old car, the bird. During the war, a message from an unlikely friend reassured Joe that his spiritual faith would bring him home soon. Hit city. The penny in father. Some want that, I said. Oh, wow, that of all day. I shall near the quam day. What did they know? I shall near die. The not a nanista. And out of two years, I didn't say, was over there spiritually. I tried it and it, I tried it, and they nearly, sister, there's a need, no, that's a need, it's a dear and a hot did. The spirit was over there, front line, on Guam. Nobody knows except me. I've seen him, he was, he came over to me. He said, you can go home. I, I, I all of a sudden it disappeared then. I said, yeah, I could Then I, I pick up my dirt and say, Nietzsche, you know, not sure. You know, not sure. It'd be, it'd be nice shot. So, for the answer, at the analogies, so does it not take it? It comes from the medicine men up here. If you really believe something, something might show you. Because God is in a way. God way. That's where I got this one. Don't kill the bird. They'll help you. He knows, the bird knows what's going on in the future. But we, us, we don't know. We just keep fighting, keep fighting. But you have to believe if you're on a war, you better believe something. You gotta believe Mother Earth. Thank you. Mother Earth. That's why we right here, church. Fire's going on. I still believe. I can't get away because I don't want to live. I would live a long time. Maybe I live another twenty years if I have to. The sacrifice that Joe made through serving in the war forever changed him and taught him lessons that have endured long beyond his return. We don't want war. We don't need war. What for? I fought for you people. I seen for you people. I look at it for you people. I understand for you people. Not by myself, not for my kids, everybody. See the mountain, sacred mountain? I fought for them. I was over there. You know what brave means. Get brave. I tell you, you don't have to be afraid. You get killed, you get killed. You don't know. When I get back on 1945, 46, January 46, got back, I got some medicine men. The old people. They pray for me, coming back. I'm going home. 
And then I think about my mom, my dad, my grandfather, and all everybody out this way. When you back back to the States, then you you Hanakisto Chicha. This continent, United States, is pretty strong. When you get back home, you can bow down, thank you, I'm home. Tears will win the war. And us, we win the war of our tongue. Bow and arrow. Never away, in it away. You you just can't break the coat. Nowadays you just can't break the coat. Joe feels strongly about caring for and maintaining the Navajo language. Don't leave your language. Stay with the language. Now if you just go English, English, you go to school. So you need interpreter to, to the Navajo language. So you better stay with your, your Navajo. If you're a Navajo, stay with the Navajo. And then you learn uh, English, then you go work, and then you go a long way. Maybe, maybe someday you'll be one of the president of the Navajo. He did it yet. I don't know about that. So I didn't hear that. Yeah, we did go. The delegate. I don't know about that. So he had a new job in Yeltsin. So now what did he do? Yeltsin. I don't know. But he gave me a new Yeltsin. Hello. And he gave me a year to a joke in it or change to him in the year. What's the way? What's the way that's it? Hala, the neighbors are too. Yego, yego, yat egate. Then you forget about your language. I said, you better don't forget never all. Alan,